Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're a current subscriber, welcome back. If you're not yet subscribed, please consider hitting that red subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Today's video, I'm going to do an updated September 2021 emergency allotment deposit dates. There have been a few more states added. Um, at the time of this video, these are the current states that's on the list. As always, I will leave that list linked down below or the USDA's website linked down below. Um, if any more are added, I will come back with a, another video updating this list. Um, so, give me just a second. We'll get into it. I always check them off. So. Okay, and another thing, the 15% ends September 30th. However, the new 25% um, increase takes effect October 1st. And I've heard several different things. I've heard it's 36 or 25% per person in your household. Then somebody said it's like an extra 25% um, per caseload or per your stuff. So I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. I haven't really, excuse me, haven't really looked into it. You'll probably hear my cup turner. I have a cup turning and I forgot to record it. Sorry about that. Um, then I have a kid watching TV, so I usually pause it, but they're not in school today at the time of recording this. So let's get into it. Alabama, uh, it will process September 29th and it'll show up on September 30th. Colorado, September 7th through 11th. Georgia, September 27th through September 30th. Indiana on your regular issuance day. It's Maine, September 10th. Michigan, September 25th through October 4th. Mississippi, September 2nd. And if anybody is in Mississippi that is getting affected by the hurricane that is going through, was going through, um, um, I'm praying for you guys, but, um, with all the, if you do get hit in the part that's closest to Louisiana, excuse me, I'm not sure how it's going to work for you guys, considering if you lose power for three weeks, um, I'm not sure how that works, because in my state, we don't get affected by tornadoes or hurricanes, the only thing that would throw our power out is a really bad storm and in that case our um, electric could be out anywhere from six hours to two days so I'm not really sure and at that or any food we lose our DHHR and um, replaces what food we lost um, next up is North Carolina September 22nd through October 1st Oregon, run 1, September 10th, run 2, September 29th, and a final run, October 1st. Pennsylvania, September 16th, 17th, 18th, the 21st through the 25th, and the 29th, and a cleanup November 5th. Rhode Island, September 3rd, and it's going to be separate from your regular issuance day. South Carolina, September 1st through 9th on your regular issuance day. Vermont, October 14th through September, oh, for September. Virginia, September 16th. Wisconsin, September 25th, and Wyoming, September 2nd through 4th. If I say it by some chance that I did not say your state, it's because it's not that you may not be getting them, but all the waivers haven't showed up yet. Some of them don't show up until the first of the month. Um, by the time you see this video, it will be the 30th of September. 
so um i will keep a check on it and see if it updates any and i will come to you excuse me me and my son my son had a cross country meet yesterday and we had to drive a little over an hour to get there and we were there for about three three to three and a half hours then i had to drive an hour and ten um and now we're 10 minutes back home and the heat kind of works out and we're taking our church did church online so we've had to use the our sunday to rest up but anyway i hope you enjoy the rest of your monday if you are in the affected areas that are getting hit by the hurricane please be safe and we will see you in the next video have a great day.